Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Monday, Monday, December 25th, and the energies in the day adds up and reduce to number eight vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit animal, Ooh, we are working with the lion energy and the lion brings courage. Something needs to be done today. And clearly the only way to get through it is by having courage. The moon is the ruler of today. Today is Monday, moon day. And the moon is in Gemini and the moon is a part of a T-square. So I could see why we would need the courage of the lion. This T-square that the moon is a part of has to do with Neptune and Pisces and Mercury conjunct Mars and Sagittarius and the sun conjunct Mercury and uh, the sun and, and Capricorn conjunct uh, Mercury and Sagittarius. So when I look at the T-square that the moon is a part of, it feels like growth. It's like, it's, it's like we're fighting against growth. The reason why I say that because moon and Gemini energy, Gemini energy is a very familiar energy. When you think about Gemini energy, think about the family members, the community, everything that you grew up in, you know, that familiar It's like, think about the small town vibe, you know, is what I think of when I think of Gemini energy, or when I think of the opposition Sagittarius, I think of, uh, far away places, places that are different, unfamiliar from our familiar place. So when I think of moon and Gemini, I think of comfort zone. And that is being challenged by Neptune and Pisces. And when I think of Neptune and Pisces challenging the moon and Gemini, it's like, I don't even want to get silent and reflective. I don't even want to get silent to reflect on the vision that I want for myself because it might require for me to change. And I'm so terrified of the thought of changing. So I'm going to avoid it. But at the same time, we can't avoid it because time is changing whether we want it to or not. When I think of this T-square, it brings me to the Mario Brothers that I used to play growing up. And in the Mario Brothers, and I'm looking at the time and it's 444. Four, four. So 444, four, four, four times 3 is 12. The number 3 is present. The number 4 is present. So with 444, 444 brings me to some kind of a stability or security. Or to me with 444, it brings me to like over planning. It's like Virgo energy on steroids. It's like over planning or overdoing something, trying to get a tangible outcome. Uh, when I think of 444 in this moment, I'm thinking about just giving something what you got in the sense that I think of the person who has written a book or created something and they want to perfect it with that 4-4 energy. It's like you want to perfect it. And the more you try to perfect it is the more you don't get anything done. Is it, The more you try to perfect it is the more you delay. And the more you delay, it's a matter of time before someone else presents that same idea as you because you spent so much time delaying it. But going back to the moon, uh, the T-square that the moon is a part of, is like I think of the person who, yes, the Mario, the Mario Brothers video game. So in the game, even if you were to stop playing, time is always going and the screen is always moving. 
So the screen moving or time, either one is going to take you out. Depending on where you are, the screen will move and back you up against something and then time will run out and you die that way. Or the screen might push you right into a hole and you die that way. Either way, time does not wait for you. So when it comes to this T-square that the moon and Gemini is experiencing, we're realizing that time is not waiting for us. Or we might feel pressured to do something pertaining to taking action towards something. The day is the 25th. The number two is nurturing. The number five deals with sudden and unexpected changes. Two plus five is seven. So there's some introspective feel to the day. And the energies in the day adds up and reduce to number eight vibration. And the number eight is ruled by Saturn. The number eight deals with time. The number eight deals with education. It deals with authority. It deals with control. So with all of that being said, I think of Saturn and moon energy coming together. I feel this strong sense of responsibility, this burdensome feeling of responsibility. But at the same time, I don't know what to do about it. And it's like you do know what to do about it. Just afraid to do what needs to be done because it'll mean stepping outside of one's comfort zone. And that is terrifying. Monday, moon day, the moon energy always brings a sensitivity to the day. But with Saturn having a strong influence with the day adding up and reducing to number eight vibration, Saturn energy or the number eight energy could remind me of Aquarian energy in this to a certain extent in the sense that instead of allowing us to feel whatever it is that we're feeling, we might be so much in our head trying to think our way out of something when we might just need to surrender. And then the number eight has this tunnel vision, which could almost be like Neptune's dreamy delusional way of being the number eight's tunnel vision could be so focused on a thing, whether it's wrong or right to the point that we can't see or hear anything else that's happening around us because we're so focused on a thing. So I feel like from our level of focus, it might be hard for us to feel our emotions today from our focus, or we might find ourselves experiencing power struggles today. Or for some of us, we feel our emotions, but we feel super sensitive and emotional as we're looking at our financial situation, as we're looking at our status, or even considering educating ourselves and going back to school. When I look at the T-square being made to the moon, like I said, change is necessary. It's inevitable. And it feels like it's being forced upon you to a certain extent. But there's two sides to that because Mercury conjunct Mars and the sun, sun and Capricorn, Mercury and Mars and Sagittarius is positively aspecting Jupiter in, in, uh, in, in Taurus and Saturn in Pisces. So there's a part of us that's thinking about security, stability, and organizing and materializing our dreams. So our mind is on that type of time. Our mind is thinking, okay, I need to do better than where I am right now. And I might need to go to nursing school and become an LPN as a trade just to pay my bills and clear up some debt and save some money to then focus on what I really want to do. But I can't jump into what I really want to do because I have children, I have responsibilities, I don't have the security. But then the moon in Gemini with the T-square, here's what the mind is saying, but the moon, our inner world, we're like just frozen, just frozen and frozen at the thought of stepping into unfamiliar territories, frozen at the thought of coming up out of our comfort zone is what I'm getting. And when it comes to say the number eight energy, Saturn energy, for some of us, there might be a power struggle, uh, a run in with our boss or something to that, or someone of authority. And they clearly have authority because maybe we need them for something why they have authority over us. And I feel like for those of us who have that kind of run in or experience that might cause us to feel a bit frustrated or annoyed, you know, it's a blessing in disguise. Consider them as the mother eaglet working for the universe, pushing you out of the nest so that you feel uncomfortable and pushing you out of the nest so you fall and learn how to fly. 
So just know everything is working out for your favor, regardless of how it seems. And we have the moon card coming up today with the moon energy. So you're definitely being nudged. Something is nudging you. Something is nudging you and telling you it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. Or I think of the person being nudged in the sense that say the person who's pursuing a certain career path, but they're pursuing this career path because they want to prove their dad wrong. They want to pr prove their mom wrong. They want to prove their siblings wrong. They want to prove their community wrong. But at the same time, as they're pursuing this path and they're getting educated in it, they find themselves questioning if this is the right thing for them, where if they were doing the thing that was right for them, they wouldn't even have time to question. They would be too busy diving into that thing. So it's like that could be the nudge. It's like there's this intuitive guidance that's trying to come through to you. And it's like you don't know if you should listen, it, listen to it or not, because again, it's causing you to step out of your comfort zone. And when we step into like, you know, the spiritual guidance, the spirit animal guidance for the day, it's like courage. What are you afraid to do? What are you afraid of? I feel like for some of us, what might be beneficial today is for us to pull our journals out and ask ourselves honestly, like, what am I afraid of? What am I afraid of? And why am I afraid of that? I feel like that could really give some people some context on the decisions that they've been making trying to avoid certain things only to eventually come full circle to the thing that they've been trying to avoid. And the only thing that they wasted was time and energy or even money. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you'd like to book a needle chart awareness coaching session with me or check out my exclusive contents only available on Patreon, the links for that is in the description box below. But before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here by dropping me a pink heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.